Bowl season is upon us and we're getting started hot and heavy on Saturday. Six games tomorrow all on tap for you. The Las Vegas Bowl, Florida Gators up against Oregon State, number 14 in the country. Before that, a few other games looking at Cincinnati and Louisville of note, SMU and BYU. But we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves because there are two games today. And for that, to get us ready, to get you ready to make some money as well, we bring in Emory Hunt. Let's look into the weekend. Starting tonight, the first game this afternoon, the Bahamas Bowl, a top-notch destination. Miami, Ohio, and UAB, they kick off at 1130 this morning. Nobody's rushed for more yards in the country than UAB's Dwayne McBride. Blazers favored by double digits. What's your pick here? And this number has jumped from... 11 to 10 and a half. The point is, you mentioned them, Dwayne McBride in that run game. That travels rather well. Run game defense, they'll take care of business. Since Gabbert has been out the lineup for Miami of Ohio, it's just been a different offense. I don't think they'll score enough to really keep UAB from covering the spread, so I do like the Blazers. They're seeking back-to-back -back bowl victories for the first time since 1973-75. The other bowl game today is the Cure Bowl. Troy and UTSA equally hot. Both have won 10 games straight. They're ranked number 24 and 25 in the country. What's your play here? First of all, you got Troy coming from the Sun Best Conference, number one. They got explosive offense. UTSA has an explosive offense. But here's the thing. Neither team has defense. So not only do you take the over in this ball game, this point spread has jumped from UTSA being underdogs. Now they're two-point favorites. Lay these points with UTSA. I think because they have the experienced quarterback in Frank Harris, uh, and uh, Zachary Franklin out there, wide receiver, and the fact that they are more locked in offensively from a consistency standpoint. I like them to win this one outright, but I definitely like this over. We should see this score get into the 70s between these two teams. This game is the only bowl game between FBS teams that both won their conference championship game, so two teams with a lot to play for here. Looking ahead to tomorrow, we look at the Fenway Bowl. They played 11 in the morning. Cincinnati and Louisville, Malik Cunningham not going to play for the Cardinals. He's getting ready for the draft. Is that swaying at all how you feel about this one? Not at all, man. Listen, it, Malik Cunningham not playing. Their coach just left them to go to the other side. This game is in Boston for a bowl game. It's going to be cold. It's going to be raining. No one wants to play in this ball game. We could have played this game on the Spence Bridge that connects Cincinnati and Kentucky. It would have been a better bet. So, But I do like Cincinnati's defense. I feel like they have enough playmakers out there on both sides of the ball to take care of business here. Although this game, again, no one wants to play in this bowl game. Uh, but it's going to be fun to watch because of the chaos. No one wants to play. You also don't get a lot of time to prep for the bowl game. You probably don't get in all 15 of those bowl practices. Certainly the case for my Gators taking on Oregon State tomorrow in the Las Vegas Bowl at 2.30. Florida, they'll have a brand new starting quarterback because Anthony Richardson, he's sitting out. Do we have a chance at all tomorrow? Not one bit. No <laughs> Anthony Richardson, new quarterback playing. Florida's defense wasn't that good anyway. Receivers tend to drop everything thrown their way. So, yeah, ladies points with Oregon State. I like the Beavers because here's the thing. The Beavers know this is all about T-Rep. This is all about, hey, we beat an SEC team because when it's all said and done, it won't have the description in the bio that says, Florida was without Anthony Richardson and was not really motivated to play this bowl game. It's going to say Florida lost to Oregon State, and you can have the beat me last on the Florida Gators. I think Oregon State uses this to make a statement and springboard into 2023. My Gators are going to go out there and shock the country. That's what I'm going with, Emory. But if you want to go with him, he'll help you make some money. Appreciate the time, Emory. Make sure you check out the Cover 3 podcast because they're also going crazy with the bowl bonanza. Taking a look at the best bets, bowl pool plays for the Bahamas Bowl, all the way through the Myrtle Beach Bowl. So bowl season's here. Get excited. College football season wrapping up. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.